Today I show you how to change the random MAC address on your Samsung Galaxy Android phone. If you have problems with the Wi-Fi and there is something not right with the Wi-Fi, you can't connect to something, it's a good idea to try this. I will show you how to enable and also how to disable the random MAC address on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So let's let's get into it. First, you need to get to the Wi-Fi settings of the network that you're currently connected to. And you can do that by long pressing the quick settings menu on Wi-Fi there and then you press on the Wi-Fi name. You can also go into the settings directly and in the settings under connections, you see the Wi-Fi press here, not on the toggle there, and you see the network you're connected to right now. And then there is this little gear icon on the right side here, that one, press here. And now you have the network settings. These, all these settings apply only for this Wi-Fi network, not other ones. So you can have a random MAC address on one Wi-Fi and a device MAC address on another one. Here I have the basic Wi-Fi settings, the security settings, and also tap on view more. And once you tap on view more, you can see here the, I have the IP settings as static, but you might have them as DHCP and that's not a problem. That's, it doesn't matter. And the thing you're looking for here is the MAC address type. What you're looking for is the MAC address type. And this is the MAC address and the IP of the phone. This is internal IP, it's the local network. And the MAC address is the randomized MAC address. And I can set it to phone MAC address. Once I set it to phone MAC address, I get this warning where it says, using your phone MAC address might allow your location to be tracked when you're in the supermarket, connecting to Wi-Fi hotspots, even outside when working around shops. They might detect this when the phone is if it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi networks, it will see that the, before the phone gets an IP, there is the MAC address and that's unique. If you use the phone MAC address, that's going to be a unique identifier. The reason why you might want to use a randomized MAC address is for privacy. And the reason why you might use the device MAC address is for compatibility. If there is something wrong, something doesn't work, the Wi-Fi doesn't connect or a device on the Wi-Fi doesn't work, then this is, would be the first thing to try. Also, when you do this, if you're using DHCP, where it gets the automatic IP from the server, you might get another IP. So you have to be know about that. And now I use the phone MAC address and go back to save the settings and that's all. It's connected to the same network and I can check. Now the phone is sending the device MAC address to the Wi-Fi when it's connecting and I will show you how to put it back. It's very simple. Here, instead of phone MAC address, I will choose randomized MAC address and could go back and it's done. So if you want to check, view more again and it's the randomized MAC address. You can go back and forth and change it many times. So if you remember here AAC7, this is the MAC address now. So the randomized MAC address for this Wi-Fi is this one, AAC7, ending, starting AA with AA and ending with C7. And when I change it to the phone, it's 98.4C, so you know it's different. I'm not sure if this will change for one Wi-Fi network. I don't think it will change over time. It will show to this Wi-Fi network the same MAC address, randomized, but the same one. If this changes over time for a specific Wi-Fi network, then you might get another IP. So that's one of the reasons why you might want to use the device MAC address. Usually the randomized MAC address should be fine. So that's it, randomized MAC address. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.